Have you ever wondered how many microbes are in your soil? This one handful of soil contains billions of microbes, millions of nematodes, kilometres of fungal threads, and a whole array of soil animals, most of which are too small to see. It's quite hard to believe there are more organisms in this one handful of soil than there are people living on Earth. The number of organisms in this handful of soil are just far too many to count. Instead of trying to count them, we can measure their mass, and this is termed the microbial biomass. And what we do here is we chemically extract the soil organisms and then analyse their living bodies, their content for carbon, nitrogen, sulphur or phosphorus. So instead of trying to say how many there are, we can now say how many kilograms of carbon, nitrogen, sulphur or phosphorus are contained within the soil biomass, that living biota beneath our feet. So how large is the soil microbial biomass in soils from farming systems in the southwest of Western Australia? The microbes within these soils contain in the surface layer between 70 and 700 kilograms of carbon per hectare, along with nitrogen, sulphur, phosphorus and other nutrients. Within this soil, we know that the carbon content of those living microbes is only about half of their weight. The microbes are living cells, so they do contain the nitrogen, sulphur, phosphorus, but also water and hydrogen and all the other building blocks of life. So if we're to think about their total weight, they're somewhere between 140 kilograms and 1,400 kilograms of living cells in the top surface layer of these soils. We also know that about 70% of the living cells are in this surface layer. That means there's another 30% of organisms down to about one metre in soil. So together, if we think about the total soil profile, there's somewhere between 200 and 2,000 kilograms of living organisms in a hectare of these soils. This range in microbial biomass values reflects differences at a site. This includes rainfall, temperature, soil type, plant type, and the level of animal and plant residues that are added to the soil. And of course, how we manage in particular, that surface soil layer where most organisms are concentrated. To help visualise the mass of microbes, we can equate that to the mass of sheep. Under this paddock that we're standing on, the mass of microbes is equivalent to 30 sheep per hectare. The microbial biomass makes up only a few percent of the total soil organic matter pool in these soils. Yet these microbes are the powerhouse of the soil. In doing so, they break down plant and animal residues. This allows for the retention, recycling and reuse of plant available nutrients. Microbes are an important component of all farming systems.